If you've ever used VMware's vRealize Log Insight, then you're already aware of its amazing ability to ingest syslog data, analyze it, and make it easily consumable. But what about ingesting files, such as logs, or even Windows events? Well, that's where the vRealize Log Insight agent comes into play. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure the vRealize Log Insight agent so you can get better insights into what's happening in your world. The vRealize Log Insight agent comes in a variety of packages. There's a Windows MSI and Linux RPM, DEB, and binary formats. The agent can be downloaded directly from vRealize Log Insight or through my VMware. Once installed, there's a single configuration file called liagent.ini. On Windows, this file is located in Program Data VMware Log Insight Agent, and in Linux, you can find it in var lib log insight agent. More on this later. To install the Windows agent, first download it from your vRealize Log Insight server. This will pre configure the installer and ensure you have the correct version. Click on Administration. Open the Agent screen and scroll all the way down to download the agent. Select the Windows installer and launch it. Here we can see the installer is already pre-configured with the FQDN of our LogInsight cluster's VIP. After it's installed, the vRealize Log Insight agent will run as a service. And we can see it running here. And if we go back to vRealize Log Insight, we can also see the agent has registered itself with the server. From here, we can configure our vRealize Log Insight agent from the server. But before we do, let's take a closer look at the agent's configuration files. In the vRealize Log Insight Agents folder are two files, liagent.ini and liagenteffective.ini. Users can directly modify the Log Insight Agents configuration via liagent.ini as well as configure it via the server. These two configurations are then merged automatically and the agent uses the liagenteffective.ini file as its operating configuration. In the event that the local and server-side configurations have conflicting values for the same key, then the server-side key is used. Now, let's install the vRealize Log Insight agent on a Linux machine running Apache server. We've already downloaded the binary installer from our vRealize Log Insight server. So all we need to do is change the file's mode to an executable and run the installer. During the install process, you can choose to add configuration values such as the server's hostname. The installation only takes a few seconds, and the LogInsight agent service starts upon completion. Next, we can make some changes to the liagent.ini file. Change your directory to var lib log insight agent, and you'll see both configuration files just like we did with the Windows agent. Now, let's pop open our favorite editor and start making some changes. You can see the host name is already configured via the installer. We could also change the protocol used from the default log insight ingestion API, or CF API, to syslog. But if you're just using the agent to send messages to vRealize log insight, then you can leave this commented out or at least leave it set to CF API. For this example, I'm going to disable SSL for my lab. The central config key tells the agent to pull its configuration from the vRealize Log Insight server. This is also enabled by default, but you could explicitly define this in your config if you wish. And finally, we can enable auto update, which allows the agent to update itself when a newer version is found on the vRealize Log Insight server. We'll save this file and configure the agent to ingest our Apache logs from the vRealize Log Insight server. Content packs are an easy way to expand the capabilities of vRealize Log Insight and are full of useful dashboards and alerts. They can also contain agent configurations. Here in the Apache CLF content pack, we can see agent configurations for Apache HTTP servers. 
This configuration not only tells the Log Insight agent what log files to pick up, but also how to parse the log files, breaking down each log message into its individual components. To apply this agent configuration to our freshly installed agent, we first need to go back to the Agents screen under Administration. Configuration changes can get pushed out to all agents, or in the case of our Apache server, they can get pushed out to a select group of agents. To begin, we'll make a copy of the Apache Linux HTTP configuration template by hovering over it and clicking the Copy button. Next, we'll give this group a name to easily identify what it is. Then, we'll create a filter to apply this configuration only to our Apache agents. We can filter based on IP address, or in our case, host name, since our Apache VM's name begins with Apache. Since agents can belong to multiple groups, we could also create more general groups based on OS or agent version. Now that our filter is set and our Apache server has been added to the group, let's take a quick look at the configuration. On the left-hand side, you can see all the log files that are being sent by the agent, as well as the parser configurations. Let's save the group to activate this configuration. Jumping back to our Linux Apache server, we can open the liagent-effective.ini file and see the merged configuration of both our manual settings as well as the server-side settings. Pretty cool! Then if we jump back into vRealize Log Insight, we can look at the logs from our Apache server by clicking on the agent's hostname. You can see the log messages have been parsed by hovering over each of the fields. This is the IP address of the requesting web browser, and here's the URL that was requested. We can also jump over to the Apache dashboards for even greater visibility. We can see the number of page views in the past 48 hours, as well as the requesting browser's IP, popular pages, and if any search engines have crawled our site. For more information, and to learn how to do large deployments of the vRealize Log Insight agent, head over to the vRealize Log Insight documentation page. Thanks for watching.